I get a feeling of great loneliness, of her dreaming alone, dreaming of things far different from those around her, a land far away in miles and years, yet close to her heart. No scheming and malignant priesthood, no repressive archaic laws or endless rituals of death. A land where love is the divine possession of the soul. That'll be the day. He's gonna kill her! Well, Maddie did two films, so she... She did three, actually. Oh, well, she did three films, so you talk then. <laughs> I did uh, a, a titsy bit, Taste the Blood of Dracula, with lovely Linda Hayden in it. Although I was riding on Geoffrey Keane's back in that one, in a, in a brothel. Yeah, that one. Didn't know what I was doing, what on earth I was portraying, but anyway, uh, I was called, and I was called Dolly. And I think that led to me getting um, The Vampire Lovers, within a month or two. With Ingrid Pitt. With Ingrid Pitt and Bare Bosoms. And the Bare Bosoms were, because you said, what did I think of, um, of Hammer at the time? Well, Hammer was a great company, wonderful character actors, didn't pay a lot, but it was, it was food for the mind and food in your belly. Um, however, it was not in the contract that they would pop out or be popped out, or that I would encourage anything out. And that was interesting on the day, should we say. So we'll tuck that subject aside for a minute. Moving on to Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell, a uh, couple of years later, where I was actually clothed from eyebrow to toe. How wonderful. It was marvellous. How wonderful. And how wonderful you did three movies. <laughs> yes. I only did the one. Oh, but, crumbs, really? Oh, but, but I only, did. but you starred in it. And I had a dual starring role. She was so fab. I was I was lucky, yes. Wonderful. They've stood the test of time and they keep, um, uh, you know, at the Prince Charles uh, cinema in town they're shown at. And... Really? Oh, that I didn't know. Yes. That's, where, yeah. that's, yes. that's posh, poshness, that is. Mm -hmm. Used to see all the classics there. They are, in other words, Valerie, I think what we're saying is they've become classics where they used to crawl out at sort of between midnight and 2 a.m. And that is actually true. There would be a separate poster, wouldn't there? Do you remember, for the Hammers? They've become cult films yeah. and uh, they're also, of course, shown on television as well. There were some fairly horrific things coming out at the time, which were a lot more horrifying at the time. Am I right, Susan George, was it? Chainsaw Massacre uh, Yes, and Straw Dogs, was it? Um, Straw Dogs. Yes, because uh, um, before pre-70s, I was um, saying that um, most of the films starred um, men like Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. True. And then as other films became far more violent, Hammer actually couldn't compete. Well done. And so th that's when they started to star women such as Ingrid Pitt and uh, myself and uh, and the films became more sexually explicit. That's very well put. I never ever thought about that and she has a very good point there. Yes. They be I mean they're called Slash and Dagger or something those other films aren't they or Slash and something? Slasher, Slasher films. Movies. Slasher mo movies. Slasher and they movies, are really yeah. they really can be quite unpleasant. Well, you've just mentioned that oh, you had to bosoms, bear yes. your breasts in yeah. Vampire Lovers and you were given no warning. None whatsoever. And uh, also... Uh, some I wouldn't have done it. Very awkward situation. You don't want me to go on about that now, but it was a very awkward situation indeed. And there's Ingrid in the bath with all of it, everything hanging out. And um, in that particular scene, I don't think she was in the bath. Um, she may have been. Can't quite remember. But anyway, yeah, it was just understood that I would do that and that it was for the euphemistically entitled... Japanese version, so I wasn't to worry about it. <laughs> Very funny. So all caution to the wind, off came the bodice, I ran around the bed, we romped, and we'll leave it there. Well, I, I feel very lucky um, now to have been associated uh, with the film that I was, uh, that I made for Hammer, Blood from the Mummy's Tomb, and uh, fun memories, yes, um, in as much as I feel lucky to have made that film and have been the leading lady of it. I mean, that was superb to be the leading lady. You know, that doesn't come sort of every five minutes. I feel lucky. Yeah. Blessed. I feel blessed. Yeah, wonderful. Yes. How did you get that, sweetheart? Did how, Who did you audition for? I auditioned. For um, whom? 
Who was the casting director? Can you remember? Um, no, I can't. Aida Young, was it? I, I can't, Aida I Young? Can't, I can't remember casting directors. Um, I, I, um, Scary But lady. I do remember reading um, for the role. Yes, I do so you did. It would have been Aida Young or one of those or Jimmy Liggett or somebody like well, that. Well, Jimmy Liggett, possibly. I remember him, his name very well. He was a lovely man. Lovely man. Lovely. A yeah. real gent yes, of was. the old school. Yep. He didn't really belong to the rather go-getting... 60s. He was sort of. He was a, from another era, wasn't he? Yes. Classy gent. Yes. yes. He said to me, um, when when um, they were doing doing um, auditioning for Clockwork Orange, oh, nice to see you, Maddie. But even if you get the parts, you're not going to do it because it's totally nude. So I didn't. That <laughs> <laughs> was me going home, oh. as they say. To have you guys together is. Thank such you. a treat. Thank oh, you. Two such wonderfully talented actresses. Oh. You know, Bond girls, Hammer stars. We are. You know, we are. He's so such a smooth, <laughs> smooth operator. Yeah, you're a smooth operator, Richard. Richard yes. Well, look, thank you ever so much for coming, and, and we do appreciate it. Oh, it's and a great. We pleasure. are lucky actually, because yes. in fact Maddie um, also did a Carry On film. So in fact, we've been associated. She did one Carry On film. Right, uh, I, I've done the uh, so Valerie and I, which make, makes it in a way well, slightly I'm, unusual. We've done all three. Yeah, we've done all three. Yeah, so. not and not not a lot of girls can say that. No. So whether you're into the latest releases or prefer to go behind the scenes with some of our greatest filmmakers, please do subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every week, so there's always plenty to see. Here's a couple more from Rabbit and Snail that you might want to check out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.